Deezy here with your one minute market update for Bitcoin. I saw two things in the charts that I really wanna share with you that are gonna make you feel a little bit more bullish in this uncertain period. So we got two things we're gonna look at. First thing we're looking at, and I'm gonna pop it up right here. This is the monthly chart we are looking at. And folks, it is a good thing that we are finally gonna have a red month, okay? So we're at the last day of April. We don't have much time for this monthly candle to close. And it looks like this monthly candle is closing at a perfect level. Look at this level of support. We have so many green months in a row. We're looking at seven green candles and investors are coming in. We got a, a new wave of investors coming in and they don't wanna buy the eighth green candle, the ninth green candle, the 10th green candle, 12 green candles in a row. People feel like they're buying the top. I feel like I'm, I'm coming in late. I feel like the music's about to stop. The lights are gonna cut on. It's 2 a.m. and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in a situation I need to be in. But right now we finally have a retest and look at the retest of this monthly candle that I wanna show you. You just see the bottom of it perfectly coming in a line where we need it to hit. And then this is gonna look a lot more attractive for investors. All right, second thing that we're looking at real quick, I'm trying to make this fast for you, is a cup and handle that we're seeing with Bitcoin. And so we're gonna go ahead and measure that. Do we, do we have the cup? Yes. Do we have the tops of the cup? Yes. What is the measure? Do we have the handle forming? Yes. So what is the measured move to the upside if we were to bounce from here? Look at that price target, everybody. So I just wanna let you know, Things are a little bit more bullish than they first appear when you zoom out and look at these historical levels. That's all I got, DZ Drive-By.